A loved one killed or taken by drug addiction. Children left to grow up on their own. Now Baltimore City leaders are working to give those young people the resources they need to get through trauma. WMAR 2 News' does Aaron McPherson found out how. Every shooting, every death in Baltimore City, someone is affected. We know this has been a particularly violent time in our city, that trauma is impacting all of us across Baltimore. A problem that's just gotten worse, with the murder rate higher now compared to this time last year, and constant gun violence. Earlier this year, after a school employee was shot at Frederick Douglass High School, Students spoke up about their concerns. The message that we, the council, were left with from the young people was that we are not doing enough as a city to support their needs and to support their well-being. That's why Councilman Zeke Cohen started working on the Baltimore City Trauma Responsive Care Act, a bill that focuses on city employees being better at realizing trauma, recognizing the impacts, and providing the proper services to help. Councilman Cohen created this bill with help from students. I work closely with Mr. Cohen on trying to help our city's youth to overcome so many obstacles that could potentially ruin their lives forever. Damani Thomas is a senior at Frederick Douglass High School. I thought I didn't have a voice, and if one voice can speak up for all the kids, then more kids will want to speak about their problems and try to find solutions. The long-term goal of the bill is to reduce crime, suicide, and improve mental and emotional health. Council will vote on this bill at a later date. In Baltimore, Aaron McPherson, WMAR, 2 News.